Well, and now on to a story that headlines today is following very, very closely for you. The verdict in the alleged maltreatment of a child by Indian couple in Norway will be delivered by an Oslo district court today. Headlines today is the first channel to report to you from ground zero. In fact, anxiety, tension has gripped the family of software professional Walla Baby Chandrasekhar and his wife Anupma in Hyderabad as the couple face a 15-month jail in Norway. They have accused Norway Child Protection Service of being oblivious to Indian style of parenting. school daily complaints two days three days complaints parents on the other hand, New Delhi seems reluctant to intervene in what they see essentially as a legal case. The government is of the view that the incident involves two adults in a legal process for violation of law and it doesn't want a diplomatic confrontation with Norwegian authorities. interfere in internal matters of any country. Just as if we don't expect them to interfere in internal matters of our country. But because there is a, there is a public interest involved and people have expressed concern, uh, we will see what is necessary, what kind of help or assistance we can provide. But we don't want to make this into a government-to-government -government affair because uh, it is, after all, an internal matter of that country. Well, Chandrasekhar and his wife Anupma have been charged with gross repeated maltreatment of their child for which the prosecution has proposed a minimum sentence of one year and three months for the parents. The couple from Andhra Pradesh was arrested on the 26th of November by the Norwegian police. Police arrested Chandrasekhar after his son complained to school teachers that his parents had threatened to send him back to India. Meanwhile, speaking exclusively to headlines today, the lawyer of the Indian couple has expressed confidence of her client's victory in the courtroom. I'm in conversation with Anupama's lawyer, Marthe Brokhop, in Oslo. Thank you very much for your time, Marthe. I know you are very tired. Uh, you have been uh, visiting the couple in the prison. First, tell us, how are they doing? Uh, the mother is not doing well at all. I'm really concerned about her health condition. She's not eating, she's not drinking, and of course, she's very upset. And she's thinking about her children. Uh, I mean... Uh, they're not guilty. So no. if they get sentenced the 3rd of December, we'll appeal the case. And if they had been Norwegians living in Norway, uh, they would have done that outside the prison, of course. There's no reason for them to be in prison before they get the sentence. And it's much tougher for them being in custody like this than being on a, a court decision. Uh, and um, they had to, if they get sentenced in the end, which I hope they will not be, but in the end, if that's the worst scenario, uh, they need to plan which, uh, how to take care of the children, make sure that the boy gets the proper help he needs and as he gets today, and um, the, the father's job, everything. They need to plan how to do this. So just let, let me understand this better. So had they been Norwegians, they would not be now inside uh, in custody. They would be outside till they are sentenced because actually they have not been charged and found no. guilty. No? So this right. because they are Indian, yes. they have to and they might run away. So this is a whim. Yes. And it's nothing. discrimination almost. Yes, it is because it's nothing with these parents that makes you think they'll not come back. It's nothing because they have followed all advices. All the rules, everything. The mother came from India to Norway last week just for the trial. So what is the possibility? And then if they are sentenced, can they be bailed? If they are not sentenced, what would be the course of action? If they're not sentenced, they'll get out tomorrow. And then they'll go back to India as soon as possible. <laughs> That's for sure. But if they get sentenced, uh, they will appeal immediately. But then I'm afraid uh, if nothing new happens, um, it's a very big chance that they'll be in prison till we get a new trial.
that was Anupama's lawyer, Martha Brothob, who is thinking and hoping that on the 3rd of December, the couple would be free and will be allowed to go back. But at this point in time, what it seems like is that the police, social services and the foreign ministry are all uh, working against each other. And the Santar case looks like a complete mess. Sabina Tandon for Headlines Today from Oslo.